Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in the 49th Street at the bench. You guys loved the last Rainbow Six video, so here we go, we're doing another one. Now, I took a look at a couple of maps, looking for some more graffiti, and I think we got some pretty good ones in here. Like these two right here, I love that K. That K is on point. And also goes for this one, look at these flares, do you see this? This is spicy. Now, what I wanna go ahead and point out is how the two, or the Z, goes ahead and kicks back Back up with what's called a serif and this serif is here specifically to raise the line high enough in order to meet with the lowercase e that way it can flow into it seamlessly for a one-liner you see one-liners have a very big thing in common with cursive and we see this from the e to the l where you have a lot of line uniformity between letters, that way your line can easily flow from one to the next. And sometimes certain things on letters are done specifically for that reason, but it has to be done in a way where it doesn't obscure the structure. And we can see this in something like a lowercase s in cursive, where you have the normal s here, but then you have this long arc up the left side of the lowercase s in order to reach the top of the s in order to make the rest of it. This tag shows both examples. It shows when you maintain line uniformity similarity and when you don't, but you do something in order to flow into the next letter. And I like that a lot, I like that a lot. And this is where a lot of one-liners go wrong because they won't use a lot of line uniformity and similarity. Instead, what they'll do is they'll distort a structure and add things to one of the structures to forcefully make it work, which that's not what you want to do. You don't want these things to look forced because it's a whole entire flow of momentum, momentum flow, which we've talked about in other videos. Now, somebody pointed this out in a different video and I 100% agree with them, but they have some pretty bad graffiti in video games and I actually like this. And the reason I like a mix of the two is because it makes it feel more real, right? When you go to a wall, there's not only the dopest of dope there, there's also the toys learning how to do graffiti. Now this is what I wanted to show you guys, some good old bathroom graffiti. How are you gonna put a crowd on your hand style with a G like that? Excuse me. <laughs> oh boy, dude. Back to the lab with you. Now look at this adorableness. I'm not gonna lie. This little dude over here on the right hand side, I like him. He's pretty dope. I'm <laughs> we'll be real. If I was to do murals, honestly, if I had the money to do murals, I would really love to do just like some, some really fun kind of art. Whether it's just shapes and colors, whether it's little cartoon characters like these. Obviously I'd like to rock some pieces and stuff as well, but I would really like to get into some more fun like more light-hearted, less serious, less dedicated artwork. Because I'll tell you what, doing something like this on a wall, I could do it, but man with this, oh my gosh. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. <laughs> No, I'm a real bomber. Family picture? Knock that down. We ain't got no time for portrait photography? Gotta get out. Picture of a duck? What the f- <laughs> Now here we have some dope stuff. Look at the cursive again. You see how these lines are flowing one into the other into the next? This is what I mean. With one-liners, it's very, very similar. You once again have that simple momentum flow where you're taking the momentum and you're dragging it into the next letter. And this is done, once again, through line uniformity and similarity. Momentum flow is really good with line uniformity and similarity. Try to use it in your tags once you understand the fundamentals. And literally, study cursive. Study cursive, it's gonna help you a lot with that. I'm also a fan of this S over here. Look at that S. Perfect, 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 perfect. A lot of people are very confused as to like why their S's don't look good, why their X's don't look good, why their T's don't look good. And oftentimes it has to do with their center of gravity for the letter. Now obviously these are letters so they don't actually have a center of gravity because it is a letter. So it's an imaginary center of gravity that you draw down the center of the letter. And if the letter is well balanced, well then, its center of gravity should be nice and firm and well balanced. So you want to keep this in mind when you're drawing your stuff. This is something that is actually used very, very commonly in art in general when even drawing people. I know it's a little, like, obscure of a thing to mention, but it is an important thing to mention. Guys, check it out. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys tremendously for the support on these like more fun, lighthearted, entertaining videos, you know? I really enjoy doing these. These are one of my favorite series and your guys' support means the world, honestly. If you guys have a game you would like me to make a video on and you own the game, 
Feel free to take pictures. I'll include my email in the description down below. You can send me the screen caps you take there. As always, guys, let's talk about it. What do you guys think about the graffiti in this game? And what game would you like me to take a look at next? Or movie, doesn't matter. In the meantime, though, if you guys like this video, be sure to share it around and give the video a like. It helps us out a bunch, and it helps support this channel. Anyway, for those of you guys who are new here, my name is John Grimm. We come out with weekly art videos, typically revolving around informational graffiti videos. So become part of the family. Subscribe. Follow me on social media. I got all the links in the description down below. And because YouTube sucks at the notification stuff, be sure to ring that bell. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time, but until then, peace.